Welcome to another episode of B-Town Grub Down. I'm Lino, aka Shark, and today we're at one of my favorite restaurants, La Via. As you might have noticed, Jason roar, isn't here. He decided to take off the road to Arizona, but that's okay, because we got somebody new here today. Hey guys, I'm Philip. Today, we got hot Cheetos and Doritos. Whichever way it goes, we don't know, but we're gonna find out, and I'm about to tear it up. Ah, merci. <laughs> Flimmy Hot Challenge was born when Hectic Films came to us and said, hey, would you like to film you know, a, short, a short piece? We want to do a challenge. And we, we looked at our menu and said, what, what kind of challenge can we give our customers? So we had a new item in mind, our Flimmy Hot Doritos menu items. People were waiting for us to release them. We did a taste test of it, and our followers, social media followers, you know, they, they were eager to say anything. When, when are they going to be fully released? You know, we just had a taste. You know, it was just a one-day taste. This challenge came about. We had a new menu in mind. We, we, we had a whole line of Flaming Hot Doritos menu items to add to the menu, aside from the Hot Cheetos items that we already had. And the Flaming Hot Challenge came about. Hot Cheetos versus Flaming Hot Doritos. Who could last until the end? The prize will be becoming part of the Taco La Villa Mexican Girl team. They will win a shirt branded with Taco La Villa Mexican Grill and a hat branded by Taco La Villa Mexican Grill. Right, now let's do this. All right, round one, since it ain't speed, let me let y'all look at the texture of this. Look at that, that just look bomb. Let me show you how I get down with these tacos. Hot, spicy, delicious. Oh man, Jason, I bet you wish he was here. Oh, oh too bad, Jason. Too bad. We got my boy Phil. Now. We got a new bearded guy. We got a new bearded guy. We got my boy Phil. He over here grubbing there. The history of Taco La Via Mexican Girl, it goes back to 1993. That's when our family came to the U.S. At that time, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't know a word of English. My father, he was, he was just, you know, trying to, trying to find his way. He connected with my godfather. At the time, my godfather, he had previous history in the business from uh, Tacos Mexico up in LA, a well-known established brand. And he brought that brand into the city of Bakersfield. Eventually, that brand evolved into Tacos La Villa. And we are where we are now. Three years ago, we rebranded, changed the name to Taco La Villa, added Mexican Grill at the end. And now, as you know, we are Tacos La Villa Mexican Grill. Maybe hot Doritos. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe hot Cheetos. Maybe hot Cheetos. Woo! Thank you. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Round two. Start. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> and social media came about, you know, you, you start acknowledging, you know, what's going on in the community, how we could help. You start asking yourself, you know, us as a business, how can we collaborate? Our three year anniversary was coming up. We couldn't find a way to, to celebrate better than to celebrate by giving. So we joined Give Big Kern here in Bakersfield, California. Give Big Kern is a local organization that supports over 100 local nonprofits. 
and we made a commitment to give Big Kern. Taco the Via Mexican Girl is gonna celebrate by giving. One dollar of every Hot Cheetos menu item is gonna be donated towards Give Big Kern. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, this is fries. Carne asada fries with hot Cheetos with nacho cheese. Yes! <laughs> Round three. Round three. Yeah. Round three. Round three. Yeah. Start. Mm. Yeah. I'm just saying, uh, that just beans in here too. It's not just me. People can find more information about Taco the Via Mexican Growth through Facebook, Instagram, and any other social media platform that is available. Check this out, people. It's like four little mini pizzas right there. Quesadilla, going down. Final round, race to the finish. Dude, look at that, that's beautiful. That's like in the commercials, you know where the cheese is falling like that? Look at that, that is, that is beautiful stuff. Five, four, three, oh, no two, yeah, <laughs> one. And go, go. I'm not catching him, he got you. This guy's just killing it so he can go home and have dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Good job. That was good. Shark, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I can't hear it. I'm hungry. I'm still eating this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Woo! Woo! Yeah. Take it down, baby. Beat down, grub down. Ha! Ah! Let's eat. <sighs> you got to do something, too. He's <laughs> like, nah, stow it. <laughs> Thank you for watching our show, everybody. We hope you liked it. If you want to see more of us, check out our YouTube page, Hectic Films. You can also check us out on Facebook on B-Town Rubdown. Hey, and if you got a challenge for us, let us know. Go to our Facebook page, B-Town Rubdown. Let us know if you, a restaurant owner, have a challenge for us, and we'll take it. Because I'm ready to eat, and I'm always ready to eat. Ah! This one's for Bakersfield people, people of B-Town, Bakersfield peeps. With the loss of Jason Rohr, someone I don't know, by the way, Arizona got him. <laughs> Lol. Hectic films, films that I don't know, but you know, who knows? Could be chill. They're looking for people 21 and over with big appetites and big personalities to take part in the B Town Grub Down, an event that I don't know anything about, but sounds pretty dope. Could be. If you think you're up for the challenge, then contact Steve at hecticfilms.com, a man that I don't know, but hey, I, I never met a Steve I didn't like, so see how it goes. Stay hectic. And I don't know what that means to stay hectic, but I think I have a good idea of what it could mean. All right, boys and girls of B-Town.